We're out here today. It's already hot. It's not quite 10 o'clock in the morning and it's humid. You can see I'm sweating quite a bit out here at the farm. Behind me there, you'll see the, the tank, the tote. Uh, we're gonna mix up about, oh, I guess about 80 or 90 gallons of sugar water um, and it tried out for the first time, actually uh, putting it to live use with sugar water. The goal is to uh, get this mixed up. I take it down to the bees on pallets and feed them. I'm gonna try and use a kiddie pool for that and just see how this works. So we just measured out about 50 gallons uh, using five gallon buckets. You know, the pump, we're gonna get it put together here. We're about to start dumping some sugar in here. Um, that's about where the mark is. So it's amazing how much that thing will actually hold. Uh, we're gonna mix it up a one-to-one -one ratio. It's actually gonna be a little thicker than that probably. We're gonna put uh, 500 pounds of sugar in here. So about 10 pounds of sugar per gallon of water. And if it's too thick, we'll, we'll dilute it down just a little bit. However, I'm not gonna be too concerned if it's a little thick because if it rains, that'll help dilute it down. It'll be okay. I'm not too worried about it being exact. So that's what we're about to do now is go ahead and put the sugar in it and see how it mixes up. We've already hooked it to this. We've already screwed the, this on over here. That double worked better that way last week. our video from last week this is the hose that will go back up into the tank here and mix up the syrup this hose we used to distribute to the, the bees well it always helps if you put the clamp on first Get this thing cranked up. Get the water circulating and start pouring sugar in there. And that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, we made sure it was primed right here. That's important, you don't wanna bring your motor up. There was a little water in there, so I think it was okay. This is a 154 gallon per minute uh, pump, so it'll be cranking it pretty fast. If you get a chance to go back and watch the video of how Rusty and I put this thing together last week, that would be uh, pretty cool. Then you can kind of see exactly how it works.
agitate for a little while. We get mixed in a little better. Then we'll add the rest. Next up, we got approximately 50 gallons of water. Mix the uh, 500 pounds of sugar. It's all in there. It looks like it's mixed up well. Take a look. Don't know how well you can see that, but I think it's mixed up quite well. We're gonna head down to Harford and Slocum. Get some food on these bees. Maybe we may go to Slocum first. I'm not sure. We'll decide if we go. Harvest watermelons on the other side of the field over there. We're down here at the watermelon fields. Watermelons are about done. Uh, we made it down here with the uh, pump intact. <clears throat> Shortly after I left home, I looked. And this thing, I had this thing double strapped. I had it wrapped around the pump here and it had twisted and it was starting to leak and I had forgotten to close off the um, valve there. So I turned that off, I straightened this up, restrapped it down. I actually lifted the hose that goes into the um, tank up so the water would, you know, gravity would pull it down in there so it wouldn't try to siphon back down into the pump. I don't know if that, I needed to do that or not. We made it the rest of the way without any trouble. What I've got here, um, if you see the hives are right over there, what I've done, so I put a kiddie pool right here and uh, I'm gonna put some water, sugar water in it <clears throat> and hopefully that will help feed the bees. I'm pretty sure they need to be fed. We're gonna go break into a couple of hives in a minute. So let's get this thing cranked up and see how this works. Okay, it seems to be working perfect. We're gonna open this valve up. Let's see if it's dead in place. I should have some going out here. Okay. There we go. Like that. Actually, I need to turn this down a little bit. It's almost putting out too fast. There we go. So far, it's working great. We had about probably 80, 90 gallons in there. So we're going to put quite a bit in this kiddie pool here. Hope it really strengthen the bees. Okay, this tank's about full. It's not really holding as much as I thought it would. Probably holding about 40 gallons, maybe, maybe 50. That'll be okay. That'll give them a good amount. Let me get some pine straw in here. Well, there you go. I actually filled it just a little bit too full. Um, basically put a bale of pine straw in here and so they won't drown, hopefully. And we're just gonna let them have at it. Um, I think I'm gonna go put a five gallon bucket or two kind of on the other side of the bees up there just to give them another source. I really thought they needed, I'm gonna, I'm estimating a gallon a hive. There's 60 hives out here, some a little weaker than others, but I think a gallon per hive is a pretty good average. I think this is only about 40 gallons probably. So I think I'm gonna get a couple of five gallon buckets and uh, put them up uh, on the other side of the bees.
How easy was that? I agree if that's so easy. Working to perfection. Just been out here feeding some bees out here with uh, the new tank. Bees on watermelons. There's the hives in the background. Watermelon field behind them back there. They're picking them today. So we've got uh, the bees fed now out here. I might do a little bit of individual feeding of hives. We'll see how they look. I'm not gonna go through them all probably. Just don't think I have the time and the energy is pretty hot out here. Um, but this system seems to be working well. If there are some weak ones, I may use some of the buckets that are on those hives down there and just individual feed the hives. Uh, this system will work perfectly for that because you can adjust the stream that comes out of there as, as fast or slow as you want. So it's really worked out well. There probably are a few things we could do a little better on it, but man, it works as expected. The only issue I have was that it leaked a little bit in transport, but I caught that early and got that situation fixed and uh, it's worked to perfection out here. So we're gonna close off this video for now and uh, we will go get in some bees. I appreciate you watching Bruce's Bees. Uh, subscribe if you'd like, hit that thumbs up if you like the video and hit that uh, bell to see future videos from me. On to the next video.